All right, I've been wanting to try this for a long time to be able to freeze dry my own food when there's an abundance. So if you've had chickens, you know that they have their cycle and um, you get a ton of eggs and just can't give them away fast enough. And then when the uh, time of the year, there's not that much sunlight, the, they really ramp down. And then the winter, you're kind of uh, not getting hardly any eggs unless you're forcing it with lights and timers. But when the eggs really come in, what do you do with them? We've tried everything. We've stored them using uh, water glass, um, sodium silicate. Is it sodium silicate? I think it is. You can look up water glass. It's what my grandparents used to use, and I've used it. We've used it in a crock, but uh, that freaks some people out. But uh, freeze-dried eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and you can take the eggs and separate the yolks from the whites and do it that way, but you can't just break the eggs and put them in the trays. Uh, it just doesn't work well from what I've been told. So we're going to go ahead and scramble all these together, put them in the four trays and let it run through its cycle. And then I'm going to put all of them, that's 96 eggs, in a number 10 can. I believe 96 freeze dried eggs, powdered eggs will fit in one number 10 can and that's how I do most of my food storage is in number 10 cans so this is going to be perfect so imagine in the winter time you don't have any eggs pull out that can and you have eight dozen eggs powdered in that can I believe it's two teaspoons two tablespoons sorry of egg powder to two tablespoons of water and you have two eggs no that's one egg <laughs> I'm new to freeze drying myself so we'll get it all right let's get these things scrambled and in the trays. Okay, let's get these things scrambled up. Okay, I wasn't sure. These are large eggs, and I did put 96 of them in four of the Harvest Right stainless steel trays. I did not line them. From what I can tell, these stainless steel trays are really easy to clean. We're going to find out. And like a lot of things, I do find out the hard way. So we'll see. But there we have it. Four batches, four trays, eight dozen or 96 eggs, and the plan is to put it in a number 10 can, and I will seal it with the All-American Senior Manual Canner Sealer, which we've used for years. It's been a wonderful addition to our food stores, and so we're down here in my food processing room. I didn't want to put the Harvest Right freeze dryer in the kitchen because of space and noise, so I put it down in our food processing room so you'll see canning and dehydrated foods and canners and oh, distillers and uh, wheat that we grew and harvested five years ago and all sorts of things. So um, this is kind of my, a pantry. We turned a room in our house into a pantry and a processing food processing room. So I'm getting ready to put these trays in here and we will see how she does. Okay, just to again quickly go through, I have my vacuum pump set up with a vacuum hose, hand tight plus a quarter with a pair of channel locks, same thing here, hand tight plus a quarter turn. I have the pump pump plugged into the back of the harvest right. The freeze dryer controls the pump. I've set my time and date on this. It actually has a USB port, I believe, for firmware upgrades. The manuals are pretty clear, not a problem there. So I've got my four trays of eggs in here. We're about to freeze dry. So here's the first start of the, let's see what happens. Please close drain valve. So a reminder there, and our drain valve is horizontal. I do need to get a bucket to capture the condensate and then continue. And it says freezing for nine hours. Okay, so it's gonna go through its cycle. Okay, the final countdown, final dry time remaining. Just wanted to show you the last part of this process. One second, it just shut off. It says, process complete. Open drain valve to vent. The product is dry, remove and select defrost. Select more time if needed. Okay, pulling our first tray of food out. Freeze dried eggs. You can see how it shrunk away here, so we're definitely dry. Are we dry enough? I don't know. Let's see. Seems pretty flaky. Very flaky. Is that good? That is great. Elijah here is helping me. 
So what do you, he's like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> We're making powdered freeze dried eggs. Do you think they're dry? Oh, they look dry. What you want to do is go to the thickest part. So I'm just stick, sticking my finger in this thickest part. Boy, they seem dry. This is awesome, kid. Wait. So oh my, be careful not to flake them all over the place. I think they really did dry. So that is great. So let's pull the rest out. Okay, I've decided to use our Cuisinart to kind of powder, powder the eggs before I put them away in the number 10 can. So you can see here, just putting away 96 eggs. I'm going to leave a little bit out to play with to show you how they reconstitute and I get to see how they taste. So one of the things I wanted to verify by freeze drying eggs was I heard that 96 eggs would fit in a number 10 can. And I don't know where I got that from. But anyway, um, that is 96 large brown eggs. Not extra large, but just good large brown eggs. That are That's eight dozen. A little bit of room in the top, not much. Um, pulverized and powderized the eggs um, with a Cuisinart. And I'm going to add an oxygen absorber, and I'm going to can this. I am setting some aside, though, for breakfast in the morning. Okay, this looks like scrambled eggs. Just reconstituted their freeze-dried eggs. There's two tablespoons of eggs to two tablespoons of water. And kind of has a it's kind of got to work with it to get through it. That's a pretty good egg-like consistency. Let's get them cooked up. Well, they cooked up really fast, just like uh, scrambled eggs, and look like scrambled eggs, and they taste delicious. So. I think it's been a success all around. So, 96 brown eggs into a number 10 can. And I saved some on the side to test so that we know what we did. All right. This is Engineer 775. Having breakfast. Okay, the second try of reconstituting the freeze-dried eggs was so much better. I used more water than what was recommended. And when I cooked them, it's kind of like steaming, almost infusing the water into the egg. And they are excellent. They're a lot fluffier, not as dense, and really, really close to real eggs. So, very happy with it. Very happy with the overall process. Engineer 775, sign out.